Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for all your kind words about all our stories. We're very happy to do them for you. And we're back here today with Sue Hendra and the Barry the Fish with fingers. Let's get into it. <coughs> Barry the Fish with fingers. <coughs> Puffer the Puffer Fish could blow the best bubbles. Other fish would come from miles around to see his bubble blowing show. Big bubbles, small bubbles, round bubbles, square bubbles. They have never seen anything quite so amazing. They caught sight of Barry. Barry was no ordinary fish. Barry was a fish with fingers. Can you believe it? Fish fingers at that. Suddenly, everyone wanted to find out more about the amazing fish with fingers. What can your fingers do, Barry? They asked. Tell us, tell us. Well, said Barry, fingers me. Finger painting, knitting, cutting and finger puppets. But best of all, fingers mean. Tickling! What fun. The fish had never seen so much fun. Come on, Puffy, join in, said Barry. But Puffy didn't want to join in. He was feeling a bit sad. Now nobody wants to see my bubble-blowing show, he sighed. I hate Barry's fingers. They are silly. So while Puffy sulked on his own, Barry and the other fish had a whale of a time, chasing each other through sea caves, in and out of seashells, and through the seaweed. But all of a sudden, Barry stopped dead in his tracks. He heard a loud splash and a rumbling noise. Then the sea got darker, and a big shadow covered the ocean. Oh no! cried Barry. Goodness! Oh no! cried the fish. A huge crate had fallen into the water and it was going to squash Puffy! Quick! Barry! Do something! cried the fish. And that was then when Barry did something truly amazing. He pointed, Look out! Puffy! With a loud crash, the crate hit the seabed. Was it too late? How poor Puffy been squashed, please, please. Phew, no he hadn't. Thank you, Barry, said Puffy. You saved my life. I'm sorry for being a grumpy spoil sport. Can we play tickle chase? But Barry had an even better idea. Let's party! Take it away, Puffy, he cried. So Barry played the piano, Puffy blew the trumpet, and everyone had the best time ever. The end. What a lovely story and what a good friend Barry is. And I'm pleased to say there's another Barry story next week. So with that, I think it would be amazing as a special extra task if you want to to make your very own deep sea collage. Think of the lovely creatures that are under the sea. And I know it's going to be fantastic because you guys have done it. I'll see you next week. Bye.